This is a review of the K2 Trio LT100M inline skates. The K2 Trio LT100M inline skates come with 83A hardness wheels and ILQ7 bearings. They are soft boot and they have aluminum frames. First impressions, I found they actually fit a little bit large, which is unusual for K2s. Previous models, like the VO2 of the K2, do fit a bit small. So those are a size 12 and a half. These are a size 12. They seem to fit too large, which is a significant bummer. They're super comfortable, but I do find even with using this speed lace system, cranked as hard as it can go, my heels are rising out of the back, which if you have significant heel rise is gonna eventually lead to blisters, even in a soft boot, are at the very least a shitty gait. So they are nice and light. The most direct comparison I can make to my other inline skates are the Macroblade 3WD100. I will say these do feel a bit smoother, but after a while you will notice that with the old school K2s, the BOA lace system, you can crank them as tight as you want, but this new lacing system is bogus. The new K2 speed lace system, in my opinion, is not good. You have to size your skates at least a size smaller. All right, so the Coles notes on the K2 Trio LT100M pass. Don't buy them, and here's why. The new K2 speed lacing system doesn't work. It doesn't cinch your foot down evenly throughout the entire lacing system. You'll notice you get, even if you, you got a crank on this, and it does get super tight around here, but it leaves your foot super loose. But I found even with cranking this ratchet super tight and cranking the Velcro as hard as it would go, I could not get my ankle and heel to stay flat on the footbed. So every stride they were rising. And they do fit a bit loose because K2 now has gone from fitting too small to fitting too large. So another problem I noticed was that in my stride, I was caving in, in, in a little bit. And that puts pressure on your meniscus and it puts pressure on your knee joints and you do get sore knees. I do not get sore knees from skating over 50 to 60 kilometers in any of these pairs here. But these new K2s, this, the Mod 110 is the same thing. The speed lacing system is garbage. I'm getting rid of both of these pairs of skates because they hurt my knees. No other pair of inline skates that I own hurt my knees like the new K2 speed lacing system does. It's unfortunate because other than that, these are really smooth inline skates. The wheels are excellent. The bearings are adequate. They're super light. Comparing the K2 Trio LT100M to the Macroblade 103WD, you can see they're very similar, but Rollerblade just does a way better job of a lacing system and a way better job of fitment and they're true to size. So it's size 12 US in Rollerblade is like a size 12 US in every other shoe you've ever owned. A size 12 US in K2 now is too big. It's like a size 12 and a half US shoe. So just be aware if you're ordering these online, they are going to fit large. You wanna size down by half a size minimum. Otherwise your feet are gonna be sliding all around inside and you're gonna be cranking the laces down as hard as they will possibly go. And that sucks. Now, if your heart is set on getting these K2 three WDs. They'll be a decent three wheel inline skate as long as you can get them to fit properly. They are similar to the Macroblade 100. I would recommend the Macroblade 100 three WD over the K2s just purely because they fit better. They're a little bit cheaper. They're the same weight. I think the K2s come with slightly better wheels, but that's it. That's the K2 Trio. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the new K2s. The speed lacing system does not work well for me. They'll be fine for super short skates, but other than that, I don't think they're gonna be good for doing longer distances, which is a huge bummer, because if you wanna skate more than 20 kilometers, which I do, these are not gonna be great skates. So there we go. Hope you found this review useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. I hope I answered everything. That's more of an overall impression after two initial 20 kilometer skates in these. And like I said, they're going back. I'm not keeping them. If you pay $300 for a pair of soft boot skates, they should be comfortable for 20K right out of the box. No issues whatsoever. And I can just tell these are not going to get tighter with time. They're going to get looser. So if I was going to buy a pair of these and keep them forever, I would buy a half size smaller and give that a go. I don't believe they come in 11 halves anyway. I think I'd have to go to an 11, which would probably be just too small. So what I would do instead of buying this pair is buy another pair of Macroblade 103 WDs, which I don't need right now because of that pair right there, 
over 2,500 kilometers on them. They are on their second set of wheels, but I would buy another pair over these simply because they're more comfortable right out of the box. I know they're going to work. I know they're going to last. There's no screwing around. So like I said, that's the review. Hope it was helpful. I don't think I missed any points, but if I did, let me know in the comments. Let me know your questions. Let me know your impressions of the K2 LT100s. How are they working for you? Thanks for watching.